a leaked creature for episode nine that is so disturbing and hilarious that if it isn't actually in episode nine, I'm going to riot. Don't get too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. Warning spoilers for Star Wars projects in general in this video. Also, I mention Ryan Johnson and talk about him a little bit. So if his name is your trigger, please don't watch. I don't want to ruin your day. So let's just get the Ryan talk over. I talked about in another video how Ryan Johnson said at CinemaCon that his Star Wars trilogy is still happening, that Lucasfilm is trying to figure out the perfect release schedule for it, and that he doesn't care if JJ retcons anything from The Last Jedi in Episode 9 because he, he just wants to be subverted. But if you were hoping that meant Rey's parentage would be retconned or changed, you probably aren't in luck. Sources are saying that they are keeping Ryan's decisions about Rey's parents in episode 9. However, there will be something lineage reveal-wise that will make people happy in episode 9, according to leaks. It just isn't about Rey. I know not every black character has to be related. I know, I know, people freak out. Anytime you mention two black characters being related and it, it, it becomes a whole thing. But I really hope Finn and Naomi's character, Jana, are siblings. There was a leak that Jana was a First Order child that ran away. So there is that connection and the actors are aged appropriately to be siblings. Come on, pretty much everyone is connected in Star Wars. It's a theme, okay? It can happen. Don't take it away from me. But regardless, even if they turn out to not be siblings and Rey turns out to be the child of nobodies, I'm fine with it. <sighs> Whatever. I just want JJ to end this trilogy splendidly. <laughs> That's all I want. I want closure. In other news, Lucasfilm already has an art book in the works for their game, Jedi Fallen Order, being put out by EA. Right now, the game is slated to release in December, or as they write, the holidays. The book is called The Art of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and is currently listed on Amazon for a December 31st release for $39.99. The listing says, on sale date subject to game release date. From Respawn Entertainment comes a brand new action adventure game which tells an original Star Wars story around a surviving Padawan set shortly after the events of Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. The subject to game release date is understandable. How many times has a video game had a release date and then been pushed back over and over again? And they don't want the art book out before the video game is out. That just makes sense. And if you've never bought a Star Wars art book, I recommend you do so. They are a lot of fun. They're beautiful. They have fun little tidbits and stories and... I don't know, I, I love them, so they're worth giving a try. Also, you'll notice that concept art that isn't used for that project is sometimes recycled by Lucasfilm and used in a future Star Wars project, so that's also fun to see. <laughs> Lastly, let's talk about that episode 9 leak that features a creature I am already in love with. So the leaker talked about a character in episode 9 called the Oracle, though the leaker said that may just be a code name that Kylo seeks out or is summoned by. This Oracle could have something to do with the leak that Kylo has feelings, the lovey kind towards Rey, and again lost his balance between the light and dark. He may be seeking out this Oracle to help with balancing or something to do with Rey. It's being said that the Oracle will be located in a swamp environment on a forested planet. See, we don't always get desert planets. What makes the Oracle cool? Well, the leaker made a recreation of the concept art, and it is amazing. It's a spider creature on a giant baby head about 10 feet wide. What's also cool is supposedly this creature is going to be mostly practical effects, and I prefer practical effects to CGI, although if the CGI is done well, you really don't notice it at all, so. Also, what makes this creature even more fun is it feeds off the sleeping and or unconscious baby. So it's like a, a leech. I am so insanely excited about this creature, and if it isn't in episode 9, like I said at the beginning, I will fucking riot. I need this. But what are your thoughts? Do you think the Oracle creates a prophecy for Kylo? 
Do you think this is where he gets the info about the MacGuffin we're supposed to have in episode 9 that the bad and good guys want? And do you not think the concept art is the coolest shit ever? Are you going to get the art book or even play the Fallen Order game? And do you care about Ray's parentage anymore? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe for more Star Wars videos.